All right, I'm back to work uh, next day, and I uh, thought about how I wanted to tackle this, and uh, it occurred to me probably the best way to do this is going to be to uh, transfer some of the parts clean fluid from the parts washer into the tray here, uh, clean it, you know, scrub it down, and then periodically drain off the, uh, the uh, dirty fluid into a bucket, and uh, then I can just decant the cleaning fluid back into the parts washer. The heavy particles should settle to the bottom of the bucket. That's the theory anyways. Well, the preparation for taking the shelf off to make it easier for me to get the fluid out of here. And actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bottle and I'm just going to use the hose here and pump it into the bottle. Anyways, uh, I got the uh, screens up that I had left in soaking overnight. Just gave them a good scrubbing with a wire brush. And uh, there's a lot of stuff in here that's, that's rock hard. It's almost, uh, it's almost like glue consistency or something. And uh, a lot of this came off. But there is still some stuff in there that even scrubbing is not coming off. So I might try something else on those. You know, these are metal. So I'm thinking I might even try uh, drying these off and try an oven cleaner on them. This one here came out pretty good, but again, there's just a section right here with this stuff that's very hard. It doesn't want to come off. So, but there's actually, you can see light through them now, which you couldn't before. Now, the other problem with these are they're bent up really badly. I don't know what was going on there over the years, hammers or something. Over here. You know, this is kind of in the middle of the pan underneath the lathe, so I don't even know what would be falling. Well, actually, now that I think of it, you've got that gap between the two ways. That stuff can fall down. So this is probably just years of dropping things that fell down between the ways and getting that denting it up. So I'd like to just get some of this material and cut brand new ones. But the truth is that, you know, this is a uh, screen pattern that uh, is not something I'm going to be able to pick up at my local Home Depot. I don't think it's very, very tight. These holes are very small and very closely spaced together. So I'm thinking what I might do is I might just try putting this between two flat plates and pressing it in the press to see if I can't just straighten this out quite a bit. But first things first, make sure I clean them up, then I'll worry about that. Alright, first thing I want to do is I want to see whether or not I can swivel the legs on the hoist gear over because that right hand leg is too close to the hole in the middle where I want to put the, where I want to put the uh, bucket. Couple more inches. That should about do it. That's better. Bullseye. Pipe plug back in. All right. Let's throw these tools from last night parts cleaner for a quick bath. Okay. 
Yeah, I so could use five more gallons. Can't really take any more out than this two jar fulls because the uh, level's dropping too low and I'm starting to suck air into the pump. But that'll be enough to get me started. Alright, I uh, need to drop this side a little bit because too much of it ran down the other end. I want more than the leveler. There we go. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to pick up my little tiny screws. I'm going to have to replace a few that were missing anyways, but I really shouldn't get them. Oh, right where I left it, stuck to the side of my toolbox. Gotta love these little rare earth magnets. You can find them in uh, old hard drives. They're small. Probably already lost a couple of some. Yep, I don't see any more. That's just, uh, obviously that's, uh, chips, metal chips in there that are mixed in with a lot of this garbage because the magnets pulling those up too. Alright. Well, I've got. Two, four, six, eight. Looks like I uh, managed to save nine of them. Uh, lower this down a little bit more. I put my gloves back on. Oh, strain off all that. Oh, just goodness. All right, I'm gonna drain off what's in here now. That's how that drain's supposed to work. This is going to take forever. I need, I need to be able to pour fluid on there while I'm working. I'm trying to avoid the mess of dripping by not submerging this jar, but parts washer without being able to pump it out. I had actually considered the possibility of, believe it or not, running a hose from the parts washer over to here and then having it just drain into the bucket constantly, putting a little sump pump in the bucket and pumping it back into the parts washer. But not ready to commit to doing something that drastic just yet. Give this a shot. So this is where I shouldn't have used the glass jar because the gloves the jar is extra slippery. If I drop it, the glass will shatter and I'll have yet another mess. I just like the 
size of this jar, that's why I decided to use it. Part of me thinks, yeah, you know, this is actually taking a lot of stuff off, and then part of me is thinking, oh man, I got a ton of stuff to go yet. A stiffer bristle brush might be better too. Rubbing brush. I've got one around here somewhere. So I'll do is I'll put the plug back in, the drain again, and pull my bucket out. Yep, some mud forming in the bottom of this bucket, so the uh, heavier solids are going to the bottom where I wanted them. So it's going to be a hair higher. Where is that cup? Oh, dummy. Dummy. I wonder why it's spilling out. I keep forgetting these holes go all the way through. I should throw some bolts in those. I'm losing my precious fluid. <laughs> I'm actually running out of time today. My son's oldest son's school is sponsoring a spaghetti supper that we bought tickets for a fundraiser. So the whole clan is piling into the vehicle and going for the spaghetti supper. I'm gonna go pick them up shortly.